Good morning, it's Terry from TLC. This is round two of a live stream. Um, there was a woman that posted in a reply to one of my um, live streams and we put it up into YouTube and it was about taking care of your dog's coat. She asked, her name's Ashley, and she, she asked about um, how you take care of her Great Pyrenees lab mix and that's a big topic because that's a lot of work for her. So I'd like to do this to just jump in real quick before I get distracted with things and um, give her a hand. My first thing that I would say to her is keeping the dog clean. Um, all of the double coats that I've ever done in the last 25 years, one of the first things that I do with them is I put them in the tub and I get them, I get them clean. I get them lathered up with soap and water really lathered up with soap and water and I get a slicker brush on them in the tub and I brush it forwards and I brush it backwards so that the undercoat that's on the top comes out like you're going to get handfuls of wet soapy hair and the undercoat that's stuck and tight against the skin is going to get lifted up. The next phase that I do is they go to the drying table and if I had a dog like that at, at home and I wasn't a groomer one of the first things that I would invest in, it would be a high velocity dryer. And you don't need to have one as expensive and as high powered as mine, but you can get them for a couple of hundred dollars um, and use them at home. And that would be very, very, very advantageous because the idea of what's happening is that it's drying the dog. So what's blowing the water off of the dog, yes. But even more important is what's happening is that the undercoat that you loosened up in the tub while you were doing your brushing gets blown up off of the skin and sent away like it's snowing great pyrenees lab whatever right it, your double coated breed it's snowing their hair like it just flies okay so when it's impacted against the skin and it's really easy for a dog like that to get impacted undercoat against the skin it's lifting it separating it blowing it up what it doesn't get you go in and get with your slicker brush it's a bit of a challenge when you've got a great Pyrenees and that long, long, long coat, okay? The, the tines of the brush sometimes will skip over the top and doesn't get right down to the skin and you're not getting the undercoat, right? But you're going to brush it up and you're going to brush it down. This is Finnegan. I know he's a cockapoo, but it's the only dog I have right now to use him as an example. So then the last phase is your comb. Your comb is your best friend with a dog like that and line brushing being the technique that works really, really well. And if you don't know what line brushing is, it's when you pick a piece, you're gonna do your dog in sections, okay? And it's gonna take you a long time. Like you might not get all this done in one day, okay? The other thing, I'm gonna double back on something I forgot and it's really important. You're gonna have great success when you've got your dog up on a flat level raised surface, okay? So if you spend $150 on a grooming table with an arm and a, and a loop, you're grooving. Trying to do these kinds of things on the floor or on the bed or on the couch is a nightmare. Okay, so flat level surface. I would invest in a high velocity dryer and a grooming table if I had a dog like that at home that I was grooming myself. Okay, so back to line brushing. What you do is you pick up a piece. You're going to start wherever you're going to start. Okay, and you comb down that line and you're going to get it undercoat out in your comb if it was a double coated breed okay Finnegan is not and when that's clear and you're not pulling and snagging and, and all that kind of thing you know that you're done and then you go to your next line and you comb right and you pull out you're gonna pull out do 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 you pull out undercoat do 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 you're gonna pull out undercoat it's a long process but line by line you go through the whole body even you know everywhere it's line brushing. That's why I'm saying, wow, that's a lot of work. It is. I had a great Pyrenees that used to come. Her name was Yuki. She came every four weeks. And she ha she was hours of work every four weeks. And her mom did quite a bit of work with her at home. So that, uh, that breed is quite the challenge to look after. Um, and the key to it was keeping her clean. And the line brushing. Sometimes you feel like your arm is just going to plain fall off. There's so much brushing and combing that goes on with a dog like that. So, thank you to Ashley for putting in that reply. I hope I've answered your questions. I'll upload this to YouTube later. 
and um, maybe do a blog post about it. Okay, if you've got questions about your double coated breeds, put it in the comments and we'll see it and we'll answer your question. Okay, I gotta get back to grooming him and doing the thing. Have a good day, everybody. Merry Christmas.